Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to Farthest Frontier to another fine, well, spring day it is actually, early summer really, warm temperatures, a light breeze, people are happy going about their business. So far, nothing severe has happened in Sleepy Hollow today at least. Um, I don't think there's a big raider coming this year. However, of course, since we're playing on Vanquisher, there can always be also late year raids. And for that, I would like to have a quick look at my barracks over here, where we do have some four whopping soldiers there right now. Some of them actually have crossbows already, which is great because this is doing a lot of damage to high armored enemies. Now, in that case, we got 12 laborers available, so I would like to assign some two more people to that. This will increase uh, the monthly cost of my barracks to 30. So this is kind of like our standing army right now, and they, of course, want to get paid. And in that case, um, we can afford it, but of course, it's getting more expensive. But also, of course, it is absolutely worth it in case of an attack, because those soldiers are no joke. So let's just have them being equipped here. And I guess they're hiding somewhere in here. And if there's a raider party coming from this area, they will then also be able to defend their own barracks, of course. And if the raiding party is somewhere else on Sleepy Hollow, uh, we can just move them there and, yeah, well, call it a day, hopefully. Now, back to my to the city itself. We got a trader. Actually, we got two traders in right now. And we could sell some cloth. However, we are a bit low on that right now. And I definitely don't want to do this anymore. Um, that's it, right? The first trader is gone. The second would purchase some bricks. We don't do this. Um, flour, we also don't do this. And purchasing-wise, we could purchase another cow. But we are doing very good on cows. And we're also doing very good on locks at this point. So no can do. Let's actually get rid of both of these traders again to have them available somewhere else. In my industry zone, right now... It's just beautiful, really. I love this game and the graphics. And in my industry zone, we are now producing weapons on top of the tools. So as we can see, both of the output here is really good. I think we don't have any swords in stock, though. Nope, they're being equipped right away. That's great. My foundry is working full now, um, pumping out the iron that we need. My cooper is finally working, so we have now barrels in my in my uh, brick or my root cellars, not only brick root cellars, but root cellars in general, um, to decrease the spoiling further. And I think, yeah, that's it for this one. And then we have also over here now my, yeah, production for Hopeworks finally intact and the shields also being equipped right away. And this is really a game-changing thing, Hopeworks, because they just protect my soldiers from so much damage that they're getting a bit too strong in some cases as well. So they're going to help me out very well. Now, back in my um, city district as well, we have moved now our little industry a bit further over. The fields are being in construction still. And we can, of course, continue with a bit of city expansion. We are almost at the housing limit again, as we are growing rather quickly at the moment. I would like to go ahead and we can have some two more houses done right in here and also finish this block here. Um, with the houses done, right? We could also enable the automated upgrading. This would wouldn't cost me that much so let's go ahead and enable this and as you can see the construction sites appear and I could I can disable it again oh no actually I need to uh, keep it enabled otherwise these construction sites are going to be disabled so let's enable that that will also open up some slots there for the living now we still have that problem with food oh another traveling merchant after all there's still one coming in that's the third one he would purchase a he would sell us meat very cheap very cheaply and the other one is oh logs you would purchase soap shoes stone planks nothing really we have we have the herbs yeah nothing i don't i don't need these traders this year at least that's the great thing about it how is it looking with my grains the second granary is coming along right so nothing stored yet but of course this is going to fill up and i just hope that we still have enough flower production for all of that so this is the last season the last year's grain and as we can see we still have some in stock so i think we might actually push a second windmill now then we have the heavy tools oh and another crop field has been finished this one here also being fenced right away and let's go ahead and actually for this year we don't need to do it or yeah well for the end of this year let's do this and for the next year we're also going to push in some workers and then we're going to start with probably also some grain farms here or we're going with the beans because that's also a nice harvest then i think that's better to have the beans in this area for now because basically we do want to get some vegetables right to the 
the storage here and for this market, right? If I would have grain on that side of the city, it would have to be transported to the other side all the time, which doesn't make sense. So let's go ahead and just have um, this one working like that. We don't need that many workers anymore. So I can really just go ahead with clever and then probably, yeah, also some beans. It's just the, the max output. Um, or we go with cabbage. That might be even better. Right, that root seller also finally has some stuff stored. That's great. And the upgrades are coming along for more houses. And with that also, of course, more taxes. As more and more of them are upgrading. Beautiful. Giving us a bit more room there again. Yeah, we're also really out of food. I can't help it. That's just how things go right now. But we have to meet... Uh, we have the laborers. Let's go ahead and really just get us more, I think, more hunters, more foragers. Uh, let's get us another forager shack here. And also another forager shack up here. Fishing-wise, we're really out of it. I can't do any more fishing. And I think for hunters, we're also using quite a lot of hunters already. We could have another forager up there though, right? Oh, there is another hunting ground that we can still use. Let's go ahead and get us another hunting cabin out. Right here, probably. Close to that barn, where we have five cattle in right now with a birth rate of one per year. Um, and yeah, well, producing me up to 300 milk per year at the moment. That's also really great. At least there is some food coming in. Right, these fields... I think we might actually continue with the next field right away, as we really do need it. Another bigger one, like this, and then we continue with the fence all around. Perhaps there is an easier way of doing those fences, I don't know. But this seems to be the logical choice for me. The thing is, while they work on the fields, of course, the deer will not be attracted, right? So these fields are safe as long as we have also some construction going on there. So this is the idea. And then the fences are finished anyway. What is this? This is a lot of food going where? Oh, these are the farmers from the other side? <laughs> they are continuing the construction here now. We have, yeah, we have 14 builders right now. So, we can finish those things really quickly, overall. That hunter was also finished in no time. And up here we actually have boar, deer and traps. And since this is quite a lot, we might consider upgrading that one too. Which would give me additional um, item recipes. He could also use the crossbow and he would just be way better and more efficient. Or a little price. Go ahead and upgrade this hunting cabin there too. At least here the fence has been finished, but the field is not really continuing there. I hope they can still do this. More grain coming out. So the grain harvest will be even greater. This one is... Oh, it's also having a barrel now. And it is continuing to increase also the lifetime of green then. How very great. That's perfect. And there's the harvest coming in. As it is autumn already. We have two green harvests really. And of course as we can see also lots of beans and stuff like that. So this winter will also be working out. Four children have grown up. So this rate is also increasing a bit right now. And this fill is also coming along nicely. We might consider another barn too on that side. Will cost me a lot, but we should be able to afford it. Yes, we are, of course. Um, where we can have some more cattle then. And the cheese maker. Let's go ahead with the cheese maker. This adds then the cheese and the durability for the milk, right? And here, of course, it would make sense. So let's have that cheese maker also right here in this corner between the barn and my storage, so the milk can be transported to the cheese maker and we can then produce some cheese out of that, which is a very durable, good nutrition food. I wonder what that is. This is looking interesting. 
Marp maple tree. Oh, it's a reforestation. Very effective you are on this. But we don't have any work camp anymore as the work camp is over here right now for the stone as well. That cheesemaker was quick. And construction is already being finished for it. Once again, a beautiful building. And here we can now use milk to produce cheese. And let's go up with three of them. As the milk production is quite abundant. And we do have also a bit of milk stored really. So we can use this then as well. By the way, also I think clay is going down a bit. We have, we have enough labor. So I might consider adding another one for the clay. Make more bricks. Alright, it's a bit dangerous over here. This is where the bears are coming from. So even my hunter here with the sword and the bow is a bit overwhelmed. Let's just try and kill this bear still. And I will probably, since my soldiers don't need to equip themselves anymore, I'm going to send my soldiers into this area to help out if there is another bear attack coming then. So my hunter can do the job. Yeah. Was stuck in the building and died. Come on. Oh, come on. Those bears. Kill it. Thank you very much. Holy cow, we lost two people. To this bear attack. To this vicious attack on our life. Um, I would like to... Continue upgrading. They have the crossbows now. Let's get us another look at tower being upgraded. This one. It's just really worth it. And they're getting so much more powerful with that. Also more range, of course. Always something that I appreciate. The grain farms are full. The grain storage. Let's go ahead and have another windmill. We can have this done here as well. Close to the, the field there, really. Where it makes sense to me. It will consume another heavy tool, but we have them right now in stock. The hunter has been upgraded in all his glory. And this fella can now hopefully more effectively work than here. Sargon he's called. And hopefully he's equipped with something better. He's ha He's got a sword at least. But no crossbow yet. Hopefully he gets it. They are seeking weapons. He probably gets a weapon now. Bow or crossbow. A bow. All right. Do we not have crossbows available? No, we don't. They are always being used right away. Still going to take a while for all of my villagers to get equipped, of course. My soldiers are here now, in the cold, waiting for the next bear. And there's the hunter now doing his job. Oh, that's one of my cows. That's a baby cow. That's a calf. Why is it? What is it doing out here? It has gone rogue and is wandering off. It is also sick. Alright, but there's my herder getting them already. I wonder why it's going rogue. Do we need a fence for the herd? Might be the case. Would be bad, really. Because that would be more locks again. And with that, year number 25 is upon us. There's some attacks over here now, but that's boar. And my hunter should actually be able to take care of a boar. The second windmill is coming along. It is required because my grain is really full, right? So we still have 2,000 from the last year. Let's assign some two people to that. We don't have them. It's fluctuating wildly there right now. Let's just wait for a bit of workforce that should be golden them. This year we are looking at... So first of all, we don't need that much work here anymore on this field. So we can optimize that a bit. And for example, say here, get me cabbage. Right, so we got this one full with cabbage and full with grain. Then we got some field work. Here we can actually go with some clover to also reduce the penalty of the cabbage and the grain. And together then in one year we have field work plus the clover plus the, pe the peas. All of this is increasing fertility too, right? So we can counter those two penalties there quite nicely and um, with maximum yields out of that field. Um, we also have the crop disease again. That's because of the difficulty. You always have crop disease somewhere. I can't change it too much. Here we have the clover. We have the grain. And then the peas. That should be fine. I might consider cabbage there too. Yeah, 
let's go ahead with cabbage in this field as well this cabbage is having a really high yield there overall flax we have on two fields hopefully at least which is the important thing and both windmills are now working very good and very important that's more flour for my bakery and once we have too much flour i will then also just go ahead and upgrade yeah that bear is at the moment destroying my my deer my cows let's go ahead and send them over there yeah it's killing my cow that's the first time ever that i'm seeing this slaughtering them and what we need to do here of course is i need to build a defense we need to build a tower here something it's happening too often that a bear is coming in and this is where my my cows are hurting too i need to have some defense in this area can't help it there's my combined forces of villagers now killing it i don't know they keep spawning quite a lot quite frequently no one continues to build this field i will abandon it once more and we are going to build another field once more in the hopes that this is actually going to be finished at some point on the other side this is definitely going to be finished though this year very good traveling merchant i don't have anyone for that i don't think we need really anything here so let's not fill that position i could make some money but even then we have a good tax income and what i can see yep we could upgrade those that shrine here now we should work on that too to increase the overall attractiveness of the area going to cost me quite a bit also the healer house can be upgraded the next raiding attack 45 raiders there they're coming my soldiers um are yep the first line of defense and as we can see doing already a lot of damage to them And then attacking my barricades most of them are fleeing already as we can see and since they're now taking heavy damage look at how strong a barrack really is incredible yeah they're fleeing the barrack killed them single-handedly <laughs> that's incredible do we have another raiding party anywhere else yep some of them are pretty close now to my town hall but that's it awesome what a beautiful building that barracks is and yeah, with that we can actually unring the bell. There was 45 raiders, no problem whatsoever. I didn't even need to deploy my soldiers there. Of course, we might also work on a second line of defense for this one here then. And we can actually start with that right away. So whenever there is actually another raid coming, we have now two walls then. And of course, two gates. This one and this one needs to be repaired still. this beauty here the next big crop field has been finished uh, we're going to do some field work this year some field work next year with the clover and then we can also start with the beans right away i would like to start with that as early as possible oh wait a second here the peas for a bit of harvest then already and yeah 31 were killed and only one gate was destroyed in the process and that's it um, and then we are probably going with the clover and then already the next big harvest in here that is the cabbage that I would like to have in three years starting. This one is now really out so we don't need to have that field work anymore for the other big field, right? So we're going to go then with clover and then cabbage as well. Even though, wait a second, we have cabbage here. This is not great. So I might actually consider... We'd go with grain, really. Why not? Just because of transportation times, that's not okay. And then we have the cabbage. Field work, we don't need that much anymore. Once every three years is fine now. A fertility is 82%, so this is really high. And I might also then consider going for the grain here. Or for beans. Let's go with beans, a big one. Getting the full harvest out of this.
And yeah, we still have over a thousand grain right now. The flour is piling up, so I think we should have a second bakery now then. As this one here is fully working, let's go ahead and add a second bakery. In that case, I might just have it then over here, also close again, so that all of these people here, as we can see, are being affected by that. There you go. Bakery number two for more bread. Right, a smaller disease, not big. We're only using some crop here. The yield will still be totally fine. So we have the clover, 80% fertility on the very big field. That's going to be a really big harvest. And also the tower is coming along for the protection of my cows and hunters there. This one is really producing, right? Yes, it's upgraded as we can see. So it is using also some animal traps here. It is producing a lot of meat, right? So also some, some pelts there. But that's a very good hunter coming out for us. I might consider also upgrading this hunter here. He still has the deer in the ultimate surrounding. I really wonder why these deer are still here. We might also just have them over there. I think I've seen it. There would be deer. It's those guys there. 100 stone, almost no logs anymore. I will need to move that over. Let's also have the next root cell upgraded. And probably this one here too. 11 people. Yeah, let's accept. Pushing us to one, uh, 254. I will need to build a few more houses because of that. That's going to be fine. Hopefully. <laughs> I hope it's going to be fine. I have no direct idea at the moment. Let's build three more houses. It's really going to be all about the food. And once again, another harvest season. Filling our bellies through the winter. And we continue onwards in the next episode. Stay tuned!